Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Sit down, lay down, be still and quiet. Try and keep your body very, very still. Try not to wiggle or giggle or shake or move around too much. Just quiet and still. And take a few breaths and breathe in and breathe out to start to help to relax your body and slow down your mind. But right now it's important that you listen to the story and be as still and quiet as you possibly can. Evely was six and Jonah was three and they were both fast asleep in their beds. They were fast asleep until both Everly and Jonah felt a tickle on their nose and then a tickle on their forehead and then a tickle on their ears and then the whole body started to tickle. Both opened their eyes to see a bright, bright light and sparkles falling from the sky and the sparkles were landing on their nose and their ears and their bodies and tickling them and then through the light and the sparkles they saw Gilda they didn't know she was called Gilda but she was called Gilda Gilda was the tiniest teeniest weeniest little pixie from a place far, far away called Never Ever Star. And she'd come to visit Everly and Jonah because she wanted to take them to a very, very cool, special place that she had just discovered. Gilda said, Hi guys, my name's Gilda and I want to take you on a special journey, a special secret magical journey that you have to keep to yourself. Don't tell anyone, okay? Both Everly and Jonah looked at each other and nodded. Yes, okay. They can keep a secret, they thought. She sprinkled even more magical, magical, glittery, all different colors like the rainbow sparkles all over their bodies it was magical pixie dust and little did they know it helped them to fly so just like gilda they were now teeny teeny tiny 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 little pixies both of them just like gilda and they were flying behind her. She turned around and said, Keep up. Don't lose me. Stay really, really close. Where we're going is a magical place that no one, I don't think it, no, well, I'm not sure, but I think no one else really knows about it. I know about it because another pixie told me about it, but I was supposed to keep it a secret. But I can't keep this a secret because it's so fantastic. Keep close, keep close, said Gilda. Everly and Jonah stayed very, very close, flying very close behind her. It didn't take long before Gilda turned around again and said, We're here. Can you see that? Both Everly and Jonah looked at what she was pointing at one of her tiny little pixie fingers at. It was a 
cupcake. A cupcake as big as a castle. <gasps> Everly said, No way! No way! We're going to Cupcake Valley? <gasps> I've heard about Cupcake Valley. Cupcake Valley is one of our favorite places, isn't it, Jonah? Oh my goodness, we're going to Cupcake Valley? Gilda was super excited at the fact that they were excited and they knew about Cupcake Valley. She said, Yes, yes, we're going to Cupcake Valley. It's amazing. Wait till you get there. You won't believe it. There's all sorts of amazing things and everything that's there you can eat. When they first got there, the first thing that Everly noticed was the Strawberry Milkshake River. It looked so creamy and pink and delicious. She said, can we go taste it? Gilda said, yes, of course. We can taste everything here, guys. Everything here we can eat, right? So all three of them flew down to Strawberry Milkshake River and tasted it and gulped it in with their tiny little pixie hands, picking it up and gulping it down and picking it up and gulping it down. It was delicious. The bestest strawberry milkshake ever. So, so thick and sweet and creamy. It tasted like strawberries and cream. Oh, it was so good. Jonah noticed that over in the distance there were what looked like a giant oatmeal raisin cookie. But when they flew closer, it wasn't a cookie. It was actually like a giant oatmeal and raisin desert. And if you flew down even closer, you could see that there were dune buggies that you could ride in. And the dune buggies were made of banana almond marzipan. So you could eat those while you were riding and driving in them. It was awesome. That's what Jonah wanted to do. He wanted to ride on the desert sand dunes and drive one of the dune buggies that was made from banana almond flavored marzipan. So they did that for a while. Everything there was also very delicious. And it was a lot of fun going up and down over what looked like a cookie that was not a cookie, that was definitely an oatmeal and raisin desert. It was really fun. Gilda wanted to visit the Cupcake Castle. It was a, what looked like to them a giant castle. And the whole castle was basically one big giant chocolate cupcake. The sun was shining down on the frosting and it was like the perfect creamy milk chocolate flavor. And they could smell it. It smelled like vanilla and chocolate and all the wonderful things in the world. Really, this cupcake was just the ordinary size of a normal cupcake, but because they were so teeny, teeny, tiny, and they were little pixies right now, they could open the door and go inside of the cupcake because it was to them Cupcake Castle. And inside all the walls were made of chocolate. Everything was made of chocolate. The seats were made of chocolate. The rugs were made of chocolate. The pictures on the wall were just different. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, rum chocolate. There was mint chocolate. There was orange flavored chocolate. There was uh, chili flavored chocolate. There was coffee flavored chocolate. Everything was chocolate. The best chocolate that they had ever tasted. And of course, because everything was such a different flavor, they had to try it all. All three of them had way too much chocolate to the point where they were feeling like they were bouncing off the walls just a little bit, way too much sugar. But still, it was delicious. 
And then finally, one of the things that Gilda was most excited about to share with Evelyn and Jonah was the candy floss air balloons. Up in the sky, there were big giant balls of candy floss. Pink candy floss, blue candy floss, rainbow candy floss. There was purple candy floss and all the candy flosses were different flavors too. And they were floating around in the sky like balloons. Like when you go on a balloon ride in the sky. But instead of it being balloons, it was candy floss. And instead of being underneath in a basket when you would go on a balloon ride, no, you laid on top of the candy floss like the big candy floss balls were beds underneath you. And you just floated in the sky. This was Gilda's most favorite thing to do because you could just lay there and basically relax and take a nap or fall to sleep or just pull on a little bit of candy floss and eat some while you lay there. And you could fly to different candy floss balloons and try all the different flavors. It was amazing. They all finally chose which candy floss balloon they liked the best and they settled down to take just a little bit of a rest. The tummies were full. Everything there in Cupcake Valley was amazing to eat and it was so sweet and good. It was like the best cookies, the best chocolate, the best milkshakes, everything that you would desire to eat All of your favorite things was there, but they were even better to taste. So of course the tummies were very, very full and they were very stuffed and they needed to just lay down and take a break just for a minute. When they got to the point where they were laying down, they didn't realize how tired they were. Jonah very quickly closed his eyes and decided it was time for a nap. Everly wasn't very far behind. She was super tired. And the candy floss balloons were so comfortable. And because they were small, they just kind of sat very gently on top of the candy floss. And the candy floss was soft and fluffy and tasty just like a really nice soft fluffy tasty mattress close their eyes even Gilda was super tired they decided to just sleep just for a little while They relaxed their bodies, their legs got heavy, their bodies got heavy, their arms, fingertips, their heads were super comfortable like a big soft candy floss pillow. And they slept there in Cupcake Valley, the happiest all three of them had been for the longest time. And of course, when they woke up the next day, it was just a dream. But both Everly and Jonah would never forget that dream. They would never forget Gilda and visiting Cupcake Valley. It was the best dream ever.